Let's begin with Local 10's Trent Kelly. He is at Flanagan High School in Pembroke Pines, where we saw some of those long lines moments ago. Trent. Yeah, Eric, that's exactly right. One of these schools where we were seeing these long lines starting to build outside earlier today was was right here at Flanagan High School in Pembroke Pines. Things as you can see here behind me now pretty much back to normal at this hour, but man, it was a little chaotic here this morning as students got off the bus or got out of the car for the first time this year and were greeted by those really long lines out front. In fact, I want to show you a little bit of what we're talking about out here. Take a look at this aerial video from Sky 10, which was here flying above the campus of Flanagan High earlier this morning. Look at that video there. You can see a pretty long line of students stretching all the way back from the school's front entrance. Dozens of kids all waiting outside as they were trying to go through the school's brand new metal detectors that have been set up out front near the school's entrance. Now we did get another view of all of this as it was happening from the ground here. Again, another look right there at this very long line, which we know is not unique here to Flanagan High. We've been getting reports from viewers all over the county saying they've seen other lines of students waiting to go through metal detectors at several other schools. Uh, some of the reports we got uh, were from uh, students over at South Broward High, uh, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High in Parkland, even Dillard High, uh, which you guys just just mentioned in Fort Lauderdale, uh, several schools all experiencing these uh, really long lines here as students were uh, coming today to start their first day of classes. Again, this all comes after the school district this past summer decided to install these metal detectors at all high schools within the district. We did speak to some kids earlier this morning here at Flanagan High as they were waiting to go inside. Many, as you can imagine, were pretty surprised uh, to see this long line as they were here getting ready to start their day. Take a listen to what some of these kids had to say earlier. She's still in line. She's still in yeah, line? Yeah, she's still in line and we came at 6.45. I think they need to be more organized, but I understand it's the first day. It's good, but it's also bad. They have to like figure out a way to speed up that process to get them through the metal detectors for sure. Yeah, so some parents and students there reacting. Uh, we should tell you that uh, classes here at Flanagan High and many other uh, high schools across the uh, county normally start their day uh, right around 730 or a bit later in the morning. But we were getting some reports from some parents on social media of their kids not even walking inside the school until as late as 830 this morning. I can tell you here at Flanagan High, our photographer who was on the ground capturing some of that video for us, telling us that he didn't see administrators here close their front doors until about 825 this morning. So nearly an hour after first period here was scheduled to start. Uh, again, the good news right now is that all of those lines here, uh, at least at Flanagan High and several other schools that we've been checking in on, do seem to have subsided for now. And we know, obviously, uh, these metal detectors are something that's brand new for this school year. And because of that, some of the district officials have been uh, telling students to arrive here early. But nevertheless, still some very long lines that we saw out here earlier this morning, something that's going to have to be resolved as we get a bit deeper into this brand new school year. But for now, that's a little bit of what we're seeing out here at Flanagan High in Pembroke Pines this morning. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News. Yeah, Trent, I think we'd all anticipate there's going to be a, a learning curve in this process, especially in the first couple of days, but it does beg the question moving forward. How many metal detectors did you see there at Flanagan? Whether or not they need to add more or figure out how they're going to work the other side of that school bell because an hour late to the start of the school day is certainly not ideal for anybody in the mm -hmm. scenario. Yeah, certainly not the way anyone wanted to start their uh, school year, not just the students, but the administrators here as well who were waiting on these kids to get to class. I can tell you our view here from the front is pretty limited. Uh, obviously, we've got a chain link fence and a uh, parking lot in our way, uh, but it didn't appear as though there were too many metal detectors out here, maybe a couple being used out front, something uh, I would think the district may explore in the future is rather than putting these metal detectors at maybe one entrance at the front, maybe they'll start looking to adding a couple at uh, a couple different entrances just so students have a couple of different entry points to uh, pick from and go through these metal detectors at. But again, as you mentioned, uh, we know this policy is brand new. Uh, administrators were anticipating perhaps a few hiccups here and there as kids get used to this. Uh, so this is definitely something that they're going to look to try and iron out as this new school year continues to get underway out here. Eric and Alex? Yes, All right. Trent, definitely seems like a working plan. I'm sure we're going to be staying on top of this because... There's more that's going to be coming from this as well.
Trent, thank you yeah. so much.